Hello and welcome to another Adobe CS6 Photoshop lesson. Um, this one's called Picture Merge 1. It's a really simple picture merge where you're going to take an animal and put a human smile on it. Uh, have some fun with it. Uh, you can add a few extra things if you want. Once you learn the first step, it's pretty easy to uh, take it a little farther. So here's an example. Uh, we've got a pug and we've got a set of lips on it. You'll notice that the lips are on a separate layer and they have a mask on it and the mask masks out the rest of the picture over here uh, they also put a pair of uh, glasses on it same thing use the mask and we've got a second one here where we did the same thing so let's uh, start file open don't start with file new because you'll just start with the size of the picture of the dog um, and as a little aside, I got these pictures from the internet. So let's just take a look at how you do that. I usually start with Google, click on images, and I'm just going to go pug dog, and I hit enter. I'm going to find a picture. You click here, you go view image because this is still not the full size image. Then you go right click. Save image as. Now, I'm working on this video at home, so it won't show you the same thing you would see. Uh, in fact, you can see all my drives here uh, are not connected because I'm not at home. But you're going to see one that says, uh, like mine would be H Verbeek at DRM. Uh, and that's where you're going to save your stuff. And it should be saved inside your computer folder and inside your Photoshop folder. So I'm just going to cancel and close this because I've already got pictures downloaded and let's get started. So we'll start with this black pug and then the very first thing I always do is just in case you make a mistake is I always duplicate the layer because if you ever screwed it up and you accidentally say went like this with a paintbrush and you painted on top of it yeah sometimes you can go edit undo but later on it's a little trickier if you make a mistake farther on to figure out where you did it and then what you could do is just delete the layer duplicate it again so it's just a handy little thing um, then we're going to add the other picture and we're not going to go file open because file open will put it on a new tab here we're going to go file place Whenever you want a second picture on the same object, you gotta go file place. So we'll move down to my set of lips. And then we'll talk about resizing. If you hold the shift key when you resize, it resizes, you know, maintaining the aspect ratio. If you hold the shift and the alt, it maintains the aspect ratio but goes to the center, which is kind of pretty nice when you do that. So you just grab on a corner, shift and alt. Now you can see these lips are angled, the whole mouth is angled to the side. So I'm going to rotate it a bit. And if you put your mouse on a corner, it's for re resizing it or here or here or here. So, and sometimes you don't have to maintain the aspect ratio. You might want to have the mouth more wide open and more like this. So that's kind of handy. But then to rotate, you gotta move away from these bounding box uh, handles. And then you can just rotate it a little and that looks a little better. So then I'm gonna hit enter. Then we gotta get rid of this. And there's multiple ways to get rid of that in Photoshop. I start off with something really simple. Uh, I don't use the eraser because the eraser tends to be permanent and you can't you know, you can't go back to it later besides Control Z, but and the mask, when a, you use a mask, it can be reversed, plus the mask can be copied to other layers if you want to try and change some things. So that's really handy. So I really love masks, and I think that's the way to go. So put on a mask right here. It's like a little rectangle with a circle on it, bottom right. And then I take a paintbrush, and black conceals, white reveals. So I take a paintbrush, and I can paint here. Now, zooming in, control plus, zooming out, control minus. Now, here is where you set the size of your brush. Now, I've got a hardness of 65. It's actually best to start 
with a hardness of 100. Don't get too close to the edges because we'll do that with a softer brush later. So now I'll probably switch to that between 60 and 70. And then I'm going to go here. Now, you could change the size of the brush at this point here, but this is super handy. And when you're a Photoshop user, this is a great thing to learn. Beside the key, P key on your keyboard are the square brackets. If I click on the left square bracket, it makes it smaller. If I click on the right square bracket, it makes it bigger. So we're just going to start to clean it up. Now, why do I have a, such a softer brush, not a fully hard brush? Because if you have a hard brush, it looks all rough and jagged. This is pretty nice and smooth this way. I think I'm going to zoom in a little bit more again. Control plus, control plus. So there I made a mistake. Switch the white using the switcher tool. And I can paint it back in. Switch back the black. Now, I could make this a little more perfect, but just for the purposes of the tutorial, probably leave it as is right now. Take the mover tool, looks a little off center. Um, control minus, and there's my pug. I think I'll free transform it again. So I'll click on the picture instead of on the mask. Control T. enter to get out of it and there I'm pretty happy now how do I put on those glasses file place eyeglasses now something to understand about you noticed on the last picture I had to mask out but does it look like I need to mask out these glasses no the reason being this is a different file type this is a ping or PNG file type and pings usually, not always, but usually have a transparent background. So when you're doing this kind of project, using pings can be, you know, really satisfying because it saves you a ton of work. Um, and so I'm just going to hold the shift and the alt key. Shift and alt allows you to do it like that. maintains the aspect ratio while bringing it um, to the middle. Then I'm going to hit enter to get out of that. Then, if I don't want black glasses, I wanted to change the color, maybe yellow glasses, I'll take, use a tool like the magic wand. The reason it works is because magic wand, when you click on a pixel or a point of the picture, it sees that color and it grabs all the colors that are next to it. So look, it just grabbed the black. Magic wand only works when there's solid colors or only works well. Um, then I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna go edit, fill. And I'm gonna fill with the foreground color, which is at this point, yellow. And then I could make a new layer if I wanted turn the yellow off, maybe grab a gradient, or I'll switch. Yellow looks super good with purple. So I'll grab some sort of purpley color. Or maybe I'll go from the center. And 
select, deselect. And there you have how to make some glasses. Now, the main part of this lesson is just the dog with the smile on it. Now, you can add anything you want. It doesn't have to be glasses. could be a hat. could be whatever you want. Just have some fun with it. Um, reason I do all these things on different layers is because now I have choices. I can have a dog with black glasses. I can have a dog with yellow glasses. I could have a dog with those. I could even start messing with my blend modes between them. That looks pretty good. But that's another thing. Adobe Photoshop CS6. Thanks for watching.